Welcome back here in this new video tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to calculate the last 3 month average dynamically by combining average plus offset plus count a function. Here in the row number 17 you can see the L3M average is already calculated and this calculates the value dynamically. Like here I have the sales data till April month and if you check the February March April average it is 216 and here 216 is calculated if i add the sales data of few more month like here i am giving 200 for may and 175 for june now it calculates the average for april may and june which is 165 and here also it is 165 so the formula here is calculating the last three month average dynamically and here just for example i have taken last three month but it can be anything like the last two month or last four month last six month according to your requirement so let me delete the already used formula from here and then write the formula here in this cell press equal to then first of all write the average function open bracket then combine the offset function open bracket here in the reference of the offset click on the item name then here you need to lock the row number 4 so apply the dollar symbol before row number 4 here then give a comma in the row combine the count a function bracket open then in the value of the count a select this quantity sold range then close the count a function give a comma in the columns put 0 comma in the height put minus 3 this minus 3 i have given because i am going to calculate the last three month average if you are going to calculate the last four month average then here it would be minus 4 now give a comma and here in the width provide 1 then close the bracket close one more bracket for the average function now press enter and here you see this is the last three month average which is 165 now you can simply go here in the fill handle drag this till the last item and all the items last three month average is now calculated here suppose that if i add some more records now it calculates the last three month average from september august and july here you see it is 337 and the formula also calculated 337 so this is the way of calculating the last three month average dynamically in excel by combining average plus offset plus count a function thank you very much for watching this video we will again meet on next video tutorial